CataractCoach.com. Using an EDOF IOL with prior RK. I've changed my mind here. So I like to watch YouTube videos the same way that you do. And I learned from colleagues. So I was recently watching a video from Shannon Wong, well-known ophthalmologist in Austin, Texas, and a close friend and colleague. And he's an advocate of using these extended depth of focus IOLs in patients with prior RK. Now, if you go back, you've seen a video of me saying that I probably wouldn't put these EDOF IOLs in patients who have prior corneal refractive surgery where the cornea is distorted like an RK or a high degree of myopic treatment because I wanted to maximize just the image quality at the one focal point. But I've since changed my mind on this after talking to Shannon. So Dr. Wong has many patients with prior RK on whom he's implanted these EDOF IOLs, particularly the Alcon Vividi. And I learned from his experience and I said, you know what? I have a patient who has very reasonable expectations, this patient here. Patient has prior eight cut radial keratotomy, which you saw there. A little bit of a corneal astigmatism. And I thought this patient would be a good choice for putting in this EDOF lens. And so we're gonna do the cataract surgery. We've obviously sped up the video here to get through it. You can see it's not a very dense cataract. It's kind of mushy, just trying to get the pieces up and remove the cataract. The interesting part of the surgery, of course, is not just removal of the cataract, but it's the choice of the EDOF lens. And let's talk a little about the calculations. Obviously, lens calculations are a little bit more challenging in patients with RK. And so it's a lot harder to hit that target because you can't really measure the cornea very accurately. In general, the error in RK is the machines that we use overestimate the corneal power. As a result, we end up choosing a lower power IOL, and that may end up causing the patient to be hyperopic in the post-op period. So we don't want that. So we've done the various calculations here, and that's all detailed on cataractcoach.com. There's a whole subsection on radial keratotomy, which explains the lens calculations. You're not going to find it just on the YouTube videos. But anyway, we chose the appropriate lens power, and we chose the toricity here, and we're aiming to give this patient a post-op refractive goal of about plano. Now, the nice part of having that extended depth of focus is that it gives us a little bit more leeway in order to hit our refractive target, right? The area under the curve for both lenses is the same, whether it's a monofocal or EDOF, right? You're not gonna increase the number of photons that are entering the eye, you're just going to distribute them a little differently. But if we distribute these photons in a wider range, so such as this lens, which gives maybe 1.5 diopters of range, then we can have a wider landing area for a refractive outcome. Now, we're still trying our best to aim for Plano, and I think in this case, we're happy that we achieved it, and this patient had a reasonable amount of intermediate and even near vision. So here's the lens going in. There it is. We'll get that folded over appropriately. Notice how we try not to touch the central optic, get that loaded into the injector, and let's deliver this thing. And so I would not be as inclined to put in a trifocal or multifocal lens in these eyes. Because remember, these corneas may already be somewhat multifocal, right? That's kind of the nature of our case. So here we're getting that lens in. You can see the torque marks on the IOL and then also torque marks on the cornea. So removing all that viscoelastic to get that lens to be able to adhere to the posterior capsule. And I'm happy to say this patient had a really nice outcome. The patient was very pleased. So there you can see there's the EDOF central beam shaping element. And I want to thank Dr. Wong for his contributions to our learning. And just keep in mind, we keep learning throughout our careers. So now I have more of an open mind with regard to placing EDOF lenses like this Alcon Vividi in patients with prior RK or even higher degrees of prior LASIK. As long as the corneas centrally have pretty good readings and not too much aberration, and if the long as, as long as the patients have reasonable expectations, we can actually have a beautiful outcome. Thanks for watching, and thanks, Shannon. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free, come on. CataractCoach.com, check it out.